Joining me now is Simon Jones, Director of Policy and Public Affairs at Marie Curie, which supports people with terminal illness. And I know, Simon, we can't comment on this uh, specific case, but what is the situation concerning end-of-life care of many other people? Well, we certainly know that there are instances of care that are not that that you'd like to see or hear about, it, like the one we just heard there. And the recent Ombudsman's report picked up on some I mean, some very serious, some very serious issues in care that you, you'd never really expect to, to hear about. Having said that, I mean, there's really good care. I mean, there's really good care people have, uh, for people at the end of their lives that brings together a whole range of professionals in support of people at very difficult times. Good care provided by the likes of Marie Curie, like Macmillan, like many private hospices out there doing fantastic work. So where does the responsibility lie? And the NHS. I think we, we need to add the NHS to that list because there's obviously good, good care going on, going on in the N NHS. Responsibility lies amongst all of us who at any given time are, are looking after an individual at the end of their lives. We will always, in, in, the, in the, the third sector, the charities that you've identified, mm -hmm. the, the, the local hospices, charities like Marie Curie, be working with the NHS in partnership with the NHS. So it's a collective responsibility. What would you like to see done better? Is there an idea that perhaps medical professionals are trained, of course, to help people get better, but when that chance is gone, when people's death is inevitable, they're not perhaps trained well enough to deal with it? Care for someone towards the end of their life is, will be delivered by two, two types of people, if you like, two types of doctors and nurses. It's those that are specially trained mm -hmm. in end-of-life care and those that are looking after them for whatever particular problem they have at that time, which could, say, be a, a cardiac, um, a cardiologist and, or, and, and a, 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 a specialist heart nurse. We're very keen on as many people as possible in the NHS, healthcare professionals across a whole range of, of roles, getting support, getting training um, to help them care for people at the end of their lives in those circumstances where they don't need to bring in a specialist. There aren't enough at the moment? What, specialists? There are never enough of anything <laughs> in the NHS, Matt. The other thing is, and we saw it there with Joanne and her memories of her dad, Frank, will be coloured mm. by his experience at the end of his yeah. life. And that's really the essential point of all this, isn't it? As well as obviously the care of the individual who's dying. It's the memories that the loved ones will have. Oh, absolutely. And, and we, we need to feel this very acutely within Marie Curie, as does everyone who's looking after someone towards the end of their life. The care and support for that individual is obviously paramount, but we mustn't forget that the experiences that that person has at the end of their life will be the last memories that are, are left with the, the, their loved ones. And it will indeed colour um, many of their thoughts and their experiences and their, their memories of that, in, that person. We are about to do, uh, to look at uh, the whole issue of end of life care in a special series that's coming up on Five News very soon. Just finally, Simon, is it a problem that it's an issue that people simply don't want to talk about enough? It's so important that programmes like this do exactly what you're doing because the more we talk about it, the more people will begin to realise that by talking about it, it can actively improve the quality of your life at the end of your life. Simon, many thanks indeed Thank for you. joining us. And uh, as we said, Five News will be investigating the issues of end of life care. If you've got a story about the care someone in your family or friend of yours received at the end of their life, then do get in touch with us. Email stories at channel5.com.